Okay, let's talk about uh, the uh, Pro CGI PM module uh, for doing uh, common gateway interface tasks. If uh, uh, we can, if we want to write CGI scripts uh, with print statements and various string manipulation facilities for simple scripts such as um, hello.py uh, that we developed in the previous screencast, this may not be a problem, but for larger CGI programs, things will get tedious fast because of code duplication. And to address this problem and help CGI developers uh, share their coding efforts, the Pro community developed uh, CGI.pm. Uh, this is a module for processing HTTP requests and responses, handling form submissions, file uploads, cookies, query strings, HTTP header preparation and generation, and many other CGI. Uh, related tasks. Uh, why should you um, care about CGI PM? Well, um, one advantage uh, of uh, CGI PM is that it has been developed and refined for over a decade. It's a, it's a pretty old module. Uh, a lot of uh, developers uh, and practitioners um, and users uh, have contributed to it and it has been deployed uh, literally on uh, thousands of websites. And to use CGI PM in your code, place this pragma uh, at the beginning of your uh, Perl script. So we will uh, start with a simple CGI script. Uh, we'll call it CGI underscore uh, play dot pl that uses uh, three subroutines from uh, CGI PM header, start HTML, and then the HTML. And these subroutines produce uh, three parts of a typical HTML page. So let's go and uh, open a, um, a temp H, temporary HTML file and uh, type the HTML code that we want um, to generate with the uh, CGI uh, dot PM module. All right, just a simple title, an empty body. So this is the code that we would like to generate. So let's open that CGI play.pl uh, script. Um, this is what it looks like. Mm, so notice the use of um, use CGI uh, pragma uh, at the beginning of the script. And then uh, header, uh, start HTML, and then the HTML are uh, CGI.pm uh, functions that generate uh, the appropriate strings. That encode um, the three main parts of a typical HTML uh, page. So let's go to the command line and run it uh, off the command line in the terminal and see what uh, the, HT the HTML that it will output um, uh, to the browser and I will display to the, in the browser. So let's comment out uh, the, this statement and this statement and see what the header generates. Now this is the header content type, text HTML, and then uh, two uh, new lines, followed by two new lines. Okay, so let's go and uncomment uh, the print statement with start HTML and run the script again. So this is the uh, start HTML head, uh, title, uh, meta, uh, and the beginning of the body. Okay, and then the end HTML will print out the matching tags, uh, the end tags for the body and the HTML. Here we go. Okay, let's go and uh, start our uh, Python uh, CGI HTTP server. Um, watch the previous screencast uh, to find out how to do that and uh, where it should run. And let's go and um, uh, type in uh, the URL for the CGI play on the local host, local host colon 8000, CGI bin, and then CGI underscore play dot pl. Okay, yeah, this is it. Uh, so sample title, let's go and view the source code. And this is, uh, this is going to be exactly uh, what it uh, looked like in uh, the terminal window.
Okay, so um, we're going to write um, another CGI script that displays all the global CGI environment variables, and these variables are part of the CGI protocol and enable browsers and servers to communicate with each other, and let's have ourselves a short um, uh, HTML table primer. So the HTML table um, uh, is defined by the two matching tags, table and uh, uh, table, um, forward slash table. And then to define a table row, uh, also uh, two matching tags, tr and um, forward slash tr, table row and the end of table row. And each table row consists of uh, so-called data cells. TD stands for uh, table data. So, um, so this is uh, we're defining a table that consists of one row and three table data cells. And tables uh, can be parameterized um, by various parameters. Well, two common ones are border and um, cell spacing. Uh, so the attribute border uh, specifies the width of the border and the attribute cell space and specifies the width between the cells in the table. Now well, let's go and open up um, our next CGI script um, and it's uh, called nvars.pl. Notice this pragma, again use CGI uh, pragma. And uh, this script uh, generates a two-column HTML table and displays the names of the CGI environment variables in the left column and their values in the right column. So the border uh, attribute of the table that will generate set to 1, uh, and then the cell spacing is set to 2. So we generate the header, uh, the start HTML, um, the title of that web page will be uh, environment variables, the, the HTML. URL. Then we print the table, and then we print the uh, end HTML. So how do we print the table? Well, first of all, we generate a double quoted string, uh, the table uh, with the table header, um, and we do the string interpolation to interpolate the values of the scalar border and the scalar cell space uh, cell spacing. All right. That will be interpolated to one and two border to one and cell space into two. Then we uh, uh, create an array, my uh, key value pair, and uh, then we'll iterate uh, through the hash env where all of the environment variables are stored uh, with each. And so each key value pair is assigned, um, is put uh, to that array variable, key value pair, and uh, that uh, two value array, two scalar array rather, is used to generate table row. So and at the end we uh, uh, print the end table tag. So what does print table row uh, do? It, well it takes the two value array, two value array, key value pair. The first is the key scalar and the second is the value scale, scalar. So we get the key, we get the value and then we use the uh, CGI.PM functions uh, TD for table data, B for bold and TR for table row. Notice that TR is capitalized, uh, T is capitalized in the function TR. So we um, bold the value of the key, put it in a table data cell, uh, and put the value in the table data cell and generate the row that has the bolded key, and then uh, the, as the first data cell, and then the, uh, its, its, its corresponding value. So let's uh, go and run it, and underscore bars dot pl. So here we go, uh, a wealth of information, so the script name, um, this, is the, uh, this is how the uh, client and the server can uh, find out more information about each other. So request method is get, this is a get script, HTTP user agent, a very useful environment variable that tells which browser the client is using, in this case it's Firefox 3.6.17. Um, and the, the value of the query string is empty. Well, let's go and um, put some uh, input parameters. So notice that uh, the value of the query string now consists of two name value pairs. X equals to 10 and Y equals to ABC. So browse and uh, study these variables. They're useful uh, 
very, very useful in uh, client server, CGI-based client server communication.